when you do anything connected with the electronics you need a multimeter for a at least few years I was using this multimeter I got somewhere in Poland in the hardware store. It's pretty cool. I had never had any problems with it, but but this kind of standard multimeter lacks something I really wanted to have for a oh, for a quite a while and it misses the clamp part. So I wanted to get me a clamp meter so I can measure the current without having to connect stuff to stuff. Because you can measure a current going through a conductor without connecting anything in line with it. Because when the electric current goes to the conductor it generates the magnetic flux and by measuring magnetic flux using this, this part uh, you can, well, the, the force of the magnetic flux is depending depends on the current going through the conductor so voila i also wanted something relatively small relatively cheap and after looking on the places like banggood i found the U unity by the way i own some already some mm, devices from unity and i'm pretty happy with what i have i have the tachometer i have anemometer and now i also have this pretty small clamp meter called the UT210E. Never mind. You know, a clamp, some wires, because this also has the standard voltmeter, this has the continuity checker, it has the capacitance meter, it has, what else, ohmometer and, um, and of course current meter and something kind of Kinda useful because it also can detect the electric circuit, for example, uh, when doing some uh, drilling in the walls, you can check which way the electric cables go because it can detect the... You see? It detects the electric field generated by the wires. But this is not what I really want, uh, wanted. I wanted the possibility to measure current. Why? Because I'm working on this. I already showed this once or twice. This is the discharge and battery capacity measuring device. So uh, I want to be sure what's happening and calibrate a current sensor or something like that. And it's really like for this, this, this kind of stuff it's pretty useful device. You put it more or less like this. You start a current and the device says that, well, something needs calibration. Oh no, sorry, I was wrong. Because it can measure both the AC and DC. AC alternating current and DC the direct current that's not uh, alternating. And I completely forgot that this thing is not pulling the alternating current, only direct current. So I kind of have to change it, clamp it again. And uh, 3 amps, 3 amps, lovely. Well, almost 3 amps. There is some like, I still have to calibrate this thing to, to match this thing. But ta-da, for, I don't remember how much I paid. But it was relatively cheap. I think it's a really good, good device. Maybe not perfect because what I would like, really like to see in this is the storage of the setting. Because right now I've set it to direct current. I turn it off. I turn it on again and it's into alternating current. I set up, for example, the continuity meter. I turn off, I turn on and it's on the ohmometer, not the continuity checker. So it kind of like, well, it's not perfect. I'm, I'm maybe not as good as doing tool reviews as the AVE, but I also like to check what's inside the crap I get from China. So let's pull this thing apart and see what goes where. Like I said, the clamp meters can work because the electricity generates the... Oh, the electricity going through the conductor generates the electric current. And if you can measure the... Oh, this thing, I forgot to turn it off. And I was slightly wrong. The electricity going through the conductor generates the 
magnetic field and if we measure the strength of the magnetic field we can find out what's the current going through it. So what do we have inside? Mm, we have the... This is the brain box of the, of the thing, some kind of a microcontroller. Looks... I have no idea what is it. It does not have the STM marking on it, so it's probably not the STM. Maybe it's something proprietary. Who knows? The PCB quality looks pretty good. There is no, no conformal coating at all on the PCB. That also means that it's rather not a professional grade device, grade device because as soon as this gets into any moisture condition it will just corrode and uh, you will have to get yourself a new one. I also do not see anywhere the... fuse or anything like that. Interesting. Should I go deeper? Maybe there is a fuse on the other side of the device? Yeah! Let's have some fun. And now it should nicely, nicely go apart. Okay, yeah. So on this side we have the rotary encoder for the function of the meter changing. We have an LCD. We have those three buttons over here with those kind of crappy um, conductive rubber. This, this really like, this is not a professional tool because this thing, as soon as we'll get some moisture, some water inside, it will just stop working. But the kind of the price makes <laughs> everything everything possible and I really do not see any kind of a fuse over here so uh, this is unfused interesting uh, personally I would really prefer this would be kind of fused but it isn't oh well hmm. so don't buy it for the professional. Okay, let me assemble this and, uh, well, do I have to assemble this before s saying anything? For what I need to measure some current up to, let's say, 5 amps going through those current, those wires, really cool device. If I would be a professional electrician and my life would be depending on this crap, no, <laughs> no, 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 the, not, not the price range for the device, but after all, yeah. and apparently it's kind of accurate. Um, the wires for the probes are relatively nice elastic silicone, so yeah, so far so good, but I really would like to see some kind of a fuse on the on the on the other hand we are not measuring the current with the with the probe we are measuring only voltage that means the resistance is high so maybe it's not required after all still i would be i would feel much safer with uh, some kind of fuse on the probe but yeah okie dokie that's all for today uh, ciao now i have to assemble the scrap oh, i hate it bye bye and it's still working. Kudos for me for not destroying the scrap immediately after purchase. Nice one. Thanks. Bye.